Welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. We're continuing our series about the upcoming PHP Storm 2020.1 overview. In this episode, we'll revisit updated Composer support, see some updates for PHP, and take a look at a plugin called Grazi. In the first episode of our series, we learned how to manage packages directly from Composer.json. The latest build introduces a few extra updates for the Composer.json script section. Let's say you have several commands defined in your composer.json. If you want to call a command from inside another command, you can now use references. Type the at symbol, and phpstorm will offer you both the default and the custom commands. If you are referencing a custom script, you can command plus click it to go to its definition. To rename the script, press Ctrl plus T and use the rename refactoring. This will automatically update all script references at the same time. In some cases like this one, a ternary operator is redundant and makes your code harder to understand. PHPStorm will now detect such cases and give you a handy quick fix to replace them with a simpler expression. Another new inspection will detect function parameters that are marked as passed by reference, but are not used as such in the function body. What's more, the array key elements that are erroneously used by reference will be highlighted too. As always, pressing Alt plus Enter to run the quick fix is all you need to do to get rid of these errors. When you need to get an overview of some large class or file, you can use the Structure Tool window or the Structure pop-up. In earlier PHP Storm versions, class members marked as deprecated were shown here just like all others. In the latest version, you can easily distinguish them by their strikethrough formatting. This release also includes a new bundled plugin called Grazi. Grazi provides intelligent spelling and grammar checks and supports more than 15 languages. The typos and mistakes are highlighted just as regular errors so that you can navigate between them, view the descriptions, and use the provided quick fixes. To enable or disable the checks, go to Preferences and select Editor, Inspections, Proofread. Additionally, under Editor, Proofread, Grammar, you can choose the preferred languages, enable checks for commit messages, and customize the rules that will be applied to your texts. This sums up the recent enhancements in the latest EAP build. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates, and see you next week.